California at Laguna Seca. You can hear the race cars out there. Uh, we are here with the V Club, and I hope you're here because it's on the other video where I cover the weekend's events. But in this video, we're test driving the Cadillac CT5V Blackwing and CT4V Blackwing. This is just a little thing where they're uh, promoting the vehicles, letting people drive it, so I've got a chance to drive both of them back to back. Not really on a racetrack or anything, sorry about that, but we did get to play a little bit. Uh, so I grabbed the GoPro, stuck it on the windshield, I'm taking you along for the ride, so let's go. previous director of the San Francisco V Club. He just drove a CT4 V. What did you think? Loved it. Yeah? Fun yeah. car. All nice right. upgrades. All right. You think you're going to get one? I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul's getting one. We know this, actually. All right, first up is the CT5 V Blackwing, 668 horsepower, and it runs a quarter mile in 11.3 at 129. Thanks. You bet. Alright guys, we're in the CT5V Blackwing and uh, yeah, red seatbelts guys, very cool. It's very important. And we got Casper here. I know you can't see him in the camera yet, but uh, he's going to be my tour guide. So uh, this is the automatic and that's okay with me. You know, my Porsche's PDK. I'm okay with that. So, alright, how do we make this thing work? Gotta learn the new technology. Uh, being, make another right. We're going to exit out. We're in tour mode. You can go to sport mode if you like. way better than a v3 and this is completely stock that rapid fire uh, explosions uh, coming out the back sound great and when you downshift let's see if we can get it I'm not cool enough to drive this car. So you're also driving the latest and greatest adaptive suspension? So it's that mag ride that uh, really makes a sedan like this handle well at the track. It just takes it to another level and makes it do things it just couldn't do without suspension mods. Supposedly the fastest reacting magnetic suspension on the market today. You got quick reflexes. The brakes feel good. <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't check what are these equipped with. Ceramic composites. We have the ceramic composites, okay give you a feel for what's going on here. Beautiful interior. It does feel a step up from the last gen, but uh, not too much of a step up. I mean, I really appreciate the third gen uh, interior for sure, but the AK AKG sound system, I'm uh, interested to find out how that sounds. So I can't put the audio in the video because of copyright, but the audio is pretty good. I think I might tune it a little bit to my uh, uh, preferences as, as everyone should, but uh, yeah, it sounded pretty good. Drive in the five V Blackwing. What do you fun. think? 
that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think your smile's bigger. I think it is bigger. <laughs> there you have it, multiple opinions from Cadillac experts. Okay, not really. We just love the car, we just love the car. All right, so just drove the CT 5V Blackwing, which is not here, but we got the uh, 4V Blackwings here. And this is my buddy, Paul. Paul works for Cadillac. What do you do for Cadillac, Paul? I am a regional corporate trainer for Cadillac. All right, and he was also a uh, instructor at the V Performance Academy, right? How the spring left. That's right. And guess what? Paul and I actually know each other through cars. 20 years ago, folks, we both started the Las Vegas Pontiac Grand Prix Club because we both had GTPs. And I know today we think, wow, that was a lame car, but no, we love that car. And it had a great following, it had a great motor. Anyway, uh, so it's really good to see Paul. I actually haven't seen him in like at least 10 or 12, 15 years, Minimum. right? Minimum, I know. Yeah. So obviously we don't have our Grand Prix anymore, but here we are catching up again in Cadillac. Clearly we got good taste. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that was uh, an awesome experience to get to drive them, and uh, we made sure we uh, tested them uh, well. Thoroughly. Uh, yeah, thoroughly. thoroughly. Yep. And I enjoyed them. And oh, by the way, congrats to Paul. He just ordered or and received his CT4 V Blackwing, as he should. It's it's definitely the right car for us. We've always loved our sports fans. So. All right, on to the CT4 V Blackwing. This is the ATS V's replacement. A little more horsepower, 472 horsepower. Quarter mile time of 12.14 at 117. All right, CT4 V Blackwing. This has a new version of the CTS V Sports engine as well as the ATS V's engine, the LF4. But this car is a little smaller, a little more nimble maybe. Not as much power, but plenty of power for the size. Uh, if you wanted to have a track car, everything I've heard, CT4 V Blackwing is the way to go. Ooh, crackles and pops on this exhaust too. The ATSV certainly didn't do that out of the uh, factory. I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera, but it sounds pretty good. Come around the bend make things slide across the dash. Definitely feeling uh, the firmer body uh, than the previous generations. Ooh, did you hear that crackle? Oh, that was nice. Definitely not as torquey on the acceleration as the 5V Blackwing, but uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, smaller engine. It's okay, remember, nimble. Nimble, this is what you want. Not that the 5V isn't great on the track. This is what you want though, if you really, really want to have fun, I think. All right, the cockpit looks pretty similar. It is a little smaller, I can feel it, but you know what? It's extremely comfy, I think. And maybe the seat, I need to sit back a little more, but uh, definitely feels great. I'm gonna do some swerving here, make everybody sick and make people think <gasps> I'm drunk, but we did take a breathalyzer. Oh, you guys, this this V6 sounds so much deeper. You you might even think you're driving a V8. That is a really great sound. They've done a great job with the exhaust on this car. Yeah. Drive, oh, look, we got to stop. Here I go. I'm going to stop. Ready? Oh, yes. Very good. Hear that pop? Woo, each shift, there's a good pop. Roger says when I drive this car, whatever coupon I get, they don't validate. <laughs> All right, we're coming back to Laguna Seca in the CT4V Blackwing. Uh, feels great, you know, uh, inside, I can't really tell the difference, honestly. Uh, you know, maybe a tiny bit smaller, but it is great. It is really great in here compared to the, the five, no big deal. Uh, the difference is the sound, the feel, of course, but this thing sounds pretty awesome, I have to say. Uh, and if I was to get a new Cadillac, I, I have a feeling this is the one I would get. Uh, but I know everyone wants the big boy. You gotta respect this thing, though. It's, it's something. It's... So the next day was Sunday and it was a little foggy out, but this time I brought my girlfriend Christine with me and yeah, we had an opportunity to drive again. But this time I wanted to take a ride in the backseat and see how it was while a professional driver took us for a ride. Obviously you're not nervous because you're in the backseat. Yeah. That's awesome. Alright, so we're here in the CT5V Blackwing in the backseat now. This is not a bad view. Get to watch our professional driver here. We, we will be unnamed. Yes. <laughs> it's giving us
us everything we paid for. Listen to that sound, people. That is a wonderful, wonderful symphony. Ooh, hear those bubbly pops? Yeah, they sound good. Our driver gave Christine a little rundown of the cockpit and then uh, told us a little bit about the V button. So the V button is, you know, your party button. So you hit that, and that means you've already configured it, you already know its modes, you already know its traction, you already know what the steering and suspension. Once you hit that button, it's go time. So Mustang pulls up next to you, you guys nod at each other, you hit that button, you know you're gonna get it. Hiding in the back seat here is, it's great. My head is, you know, I'm 5'11", my head's just barely touching the top here. I am still feel safe, even at uh, speeds that shall be unnamed. But pretty good leg room here, uh, it's fine for me. And uh, Christine, how comfortable are you in there? Very comfortable, especially with the massaging chairs. Oh, the massaging chairs, yes, that's a benefit that... <laughs> it's, it's hard to even get the conversation in because there's more smiles than talking here. The car definitely performs, folks. Uh, definitely not as nice as my car. This is kind of looks a little Chevy I have to admit. This review can't be all good. We can't be all good. We got to complain about something and I'm complaining about what the passenger looks like but looks at back here. After a thrilling ride we made our way back to Laguna Seca and enjoyed the rest of the day's events. Remember I have another video covering the three-day weekend of events at the IMSA races but Sunday came and we took another ride in the CT5V Blackwing. This time, I brought my buddy Ed. He's a GT4 owner and I had to let him experience Cadillac. Right, folks, we're now in the back seat with uh, uh, Crazy Eddie. Yeah, I know, crazy. Yeah, uh, my Holy GT4 shit. buddy. So uh, he's never experienced Cadillac, so I'm excited to let him drive here in the CT5V. Is that weird? Like me? This is like a normal. And you don't see me. Yeah. My ugly no, face. It's totally amazing. Because if you look out the back, there's not a whole lot of window. If you want it off, you want to go analog, you can. Wow, look at that. Okay, yeah, that's the AB comparison. You can't see the camera. In this. What the, wait, something just buzzed my ass. What was that? There's buzz buzzers oh for obstacles. God, How do you put it in sport mode? Okay. <laughs> that little fart at the end there. <laughs> Would you ever drive a giant sedan instead of a Porsche? As a daily driver, that wouldn't be such a terrible thing. No, not at all, right? It's very comfortable, it's uh, very responsive. I mean, I didn't push it around turns because, I mean, obviously, this is gravel up there. But you get surprised how, what it can do, yeah. yeah. First gear. They do, they, they rev surprisingly quick. People don't realize how quick they're going. First gear was like a, like a rocket ship. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. nanosecond. Well, good. We're, we're, we're glad you stopped by. We appreciate you coming out and doing this. And, uh, yeah, when you're ready for a new car, <laughs> yeah. keep, keep us in mind. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it for the CT5V and CT4V Blackwing drive. It was a blast doing them back to the back and a blast being in the back even with our awesome driver. So uh, I hope you got a better understanding of what it's like to be in that car and it's pretty good. And yeah, they just look better and better every time I look at them. Just look at these things. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They do look good in person. So if you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of future content because you know there's more Cadillac content coming. Thanks so much for watching the Jeffrey Only channel. See you next time.